Hello everyone, welcome to the Great Noodle Jape. Oh yes, the Great Noodle Jape. What do they call you? Lynx. Wait, no. Yes! You go by Lynx? Wait, no. Yes! <laughs> Stay determined, Lynx. I will. You've been invited to a night hanging out with the Skella Bros, but standing in front of their door, you hear a hell of a lot of noise. More than normal. That's saying something, but you knock on the door anyway and immediately hear a very, very familiar voice. Human, something terrible has happened. Now the Great Papyrus needs your help. Oh, truly, tragedy has struck this great house of skeletons tonight. For the great cuisine you have been promised by none other than myself is missing. Or rather, part of it is the noodle part. We still got a lot of sauce, I mean, so at least. Sans, we are not eating marinara sauce like a soup. Ah, oh, bro, but even just the sauce tastes super. <laughs> Thank you for the accurate observation, but I have standards that only noodles can meet. So anyways, my dear best human friend in the world, as the only one who wasn't here when the noodles went tragically missing at some point within the last 24 hours, I must ask you to be my deputy in investigating this manner. My deputy detective? Deputive? Sure! Detectivity? Not sure! A detectivity? <laughs> How about no? Uh, so excellent, secretor of a friend, what do you say? Um, I'm in. Call me a lock because I'm on the case. <laughs> that was terrible, Lynx. What? High five. I have made a mistake. Okay, so which one of these Skella Bros did it? Looks like almost the whole crew is here. Who to approach? Sans, Red, Stretch, Edge, Q, Blue, Black, Rust, Papyrus. What if it was Papyrus? Could have been Sans though. He wanted to have just only Marinara. What an interesting game. Who stole the noodles? Well, hmm. Let's try Papyrus first. How do I know it wasn't to you? Skeleton. Reporting in already? Wowie! You're really taking this seriously. Granted, it would be very hard to have any leads this early, but this is a good start. Oh, do I have any leads? Well, I don't like to point to Falangles. Uh. Please point them. Anything would help for the sake of the noodles. Yes, you're right, for the noodles. Let's say then, I can't help but wonder if someone couldn't resist them last night, since my artisanal noodles were out drying on the countertop so temptingly. Oh, so I can't question you, but you did give me a clue. Looks like almost the whole crew is here. So, who was here last night? The noodles were left out drying. Let's go ahead and talk to Sans before we get to the rest of them. Welcome back to the old house. You were here two days ago, but you know, hospitality. Yeah, I know. It may be a bit odd, but he's actually gotten pretty good at the noodle part. Uh, he's been working hard, huh? Yeah, he's the coolest. Makes him fresh now and everything. Granted, he tries to make a ton of them and save them for others to put in water and cook. Turns out noodles do harden when they sit out in the sun all day, but not in the recommended for later consumption kind of way. Okay. I don't think that helps with me at all. Let's talk to Red over here. He looks like Underfell Sands. Hello, Red. Sup, sweetheart. Hope you're not too hungry. Then again, depending on your appetite, I might be able to help you out. Red, oh my god. Right now? What? Red, oh my god? Heh, <laughs> just kidding. But really, it was actually pretty ready to eat. Pap's been getting better lately. Don't tell boss, though. At least when the noodles are fresh, Pap's gotten pretty good, but Boss's noodles are a work in progress that'll kick an unsuspecting guy in the cool. Okay. <laughs> that really didn't help me much besides letting him know that if they're not cooked, they're not good. And they were stolen when they weren't cooked yet, I believe. They were just sitting on the counter too dry. So let's talk to Edge. I think this is Underfell Papyrus. If the others had turned to me to craft dinner after this foolishness, we'd already be eating. You really wanted to cook, didn't you? No. But if I did, I would have already planned a five meal course complete with wine. And besides, the best noodles are prepared fresh anyway, not left out. 
I even put a special surprise ingredient inside to deter people who would try to steal them, like tempting glitter made of glass shards or 15 ghost peppers. Huh. So I don't think it was the Underfell people. So who could it be? Let's try Stretch over here. I don't know what AU you're from. I'll be honest with you, honey. I'm not too mad about the noodles being lost, though I feel bad for Pap. It's just, sometimes you see something, and it just makes you reevaluate your priorities. Are you okay? Are we still talking about, are you okay? Someday, Lynx. Someday my appetite will return from the war. Heh. <laughs> it's nothing too serious, though. But stars, have you seen Pap cook noodles before? Seriously, he makes so many of them. I never thought I'd stop smelling raw dough. Nearly matched up to when Blue decided to make tortillas from scratch last night. Blue made tortillas from scratch. Blue. Tell me something, Blue. I'm so sorry that this happened right before you arrived. I wanted to reality with you my latest strategy in the racing game we played a couple days ago. Um, you've been playing more. Can we play again later? <laughs> of course! We can even pair up to defeat Black! Black is actually very good at racing games! He hasn't lost once, even against me! He wasn't too pleased when I nearly beat him last night, though! He ended up doing one more race, winning, and then disappearing earlier than usual. Stretch and I played after that. He wouldn't stop eating, but he was still an excellent foe. Stretch wouldn't stop eating. Was it Stretch? He was trying to blame it on Blue. Stretch really likes the food. We'll see, we'll see. Let's go ahead and talk to Q. You're on a tablet. <laughs> hey, Peaches. How's the new detective agency? Not the food matters much to me. It's not like I can eat noodles or anything else. I do hate seeing Pap distressed, though. So did you steal the noodles? You don't have much. Did you steal them? Honest question. What the hell am I and my virtual soul gonna do with some noodles? Nah. I decided to come tonight for a different reason. After all, I got a shortcut for nearly everything, but it's still just not as good as seeing you on my desktop. What are you talking about? Why are you here, Q? Who are you? <laughs> all right. So we only have Black and Russ. Let's go ahead and talk to Black. This is getting ridiculous. We were already waiting nearly 20 minutes while accusations were danced around before you came. The obvious choice here is to employ harsher interrogation tactics. Uh, do you have any suggestions? I have a strategy book in my room. I will be sure to retrieve it. But really, it's about reward or consequence. Close enough. Like, the consequence Blue will face if he gets too presumptuous in that game. Hmm. Well... Let's try Russ, he's the final one. Guess you're the gumshoe, huh? Careful. Heard you can get into some sticky situations like that. But really, how's it going? Out of curiosity. Haven't you heard about what happened to the cat? Got a vested interest, do you? Don't we all, really? Heh, we got eight hungry skeletons, a cute human, and a sassy eye. It's definitely in the best interest of all of us to get it figured out one way or another. Well, that was informative. Okay, we got something to work with. Let's see what else they have to say. Huh, first round. <laughs> I'm leaning towards Stretch. This guy right over here. Let's talk to him again. Did Red mention that he drank three gallons of milk a couple days ago? I thought he was gonna hurl. Not that I could blame the guy, given how many peppers Edge had stuck in his lasagna last time. Um, you know the struggle. Isn't that poison or something? He probably built up a resistance over the years, right? Eating your brother's food as he learns is part of it, especially when he's doing it for you late at night. Yes, okay. There's definitely some particularly taco-oriented snacks last night, but taco links, not noodle. Yeah, taco-oriented. My bro kind of pushed the boundary of what can be considered a taco sometimes. Hmm. So it could, it could be red. Red has built up an immunity to poison. We know that Edge wanted to poison the spaghetti. 
So could Red eat it and just be immune to it? Not that I think it would, but seriously, don't try to steal my boss's lasagna. Even finish, unless you like the emergency room. Then again, there was that one time he and Black were having a cook-off. It took me, whoa, ages to replace the wiring in the kitchen. Outlets from that level of explosive cooking. But seriously, Black ate half of the boss's lasagna. Didn't know whether to be horrified or give the man a medal. How is he alive? If I had to guess, it's gotta be that he used his own cooking. Yeah. He was yelling something about needing to overcome the enemy by knowing the taste of their own failures. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know. Let's go ahead and talk to Papyrus. Does tomato paste go bad for waiting? Really? It shouldn't, right? I mean, I put a lot of magic in it this time, but, well, that does tend to make the tomatoes explode a little more passionately than usual. Explode? Just a small one, if by small, we mean a series of vigorous ones that crack the counter again. But that's what the ceiling mop is for anyways. Sans even died in red. He may be lazy, but he's thoughtful sometimes too. It's a secret. Wait, unless it's laziness, so the mop doesn't look like it needs to be cleaned? Huh. Explode. Who was it that could take an explosion? I really like this engine because you can go back. We're just gonna go back. See what red said black ate half black okay so we're gonna go ahead and load it back to the future black it was a mini explosion black could take a mini explosion that robot keeps playing weird sounds when I'm not looking I don't care if he's an AI he needs to find someone else to CSI mean something else to pass the time with what He'll even do it when I'm playing games sometimes. He makes it sound like an enemy spawn or a special item and makes me lose track. He costs you a new high score. All he keeps on talking about is the games. Everyone else is kind of talking about the food or talking about black. I think it might be black. Um, yeah, that drive me crazy too, right? He's going to give me a twitch. I mean, it's clearly not like I did anything to investigate. I have not earned such badgering, not by breaking cameras or anything at all. Huh. We might have a good idea of who it is. It's all kind of pointing to black, I think, at this moment. But let's talk to Q. I've been working on that VR tech. It's definitely got some bugs still, unfortunately, but there may be a working prototype soon. Maybe you can come in often, besides seeing your pretty face in person or in virtuality. <laughs> Maybe you can help me with the project. What's the project? Look at those sparks fly. Bless you, peaches. The project's a pinpoint taste mechanism, stars. You'd be surprised how hard it is to figure out what taste is when you don't have a comparison. Granted, the guys talk enough in the lab when they're away from their brothers about the taste of burnt things. But you know, last night was a hell of a lot more quiet on that front. Actually, maybe Pep's noodles were that good. Hmm. Didn't say much. What about you, Edge? Do you really think it was me? You and every one of those idiots would know if it was me. You wouldn't hide it, you're saying. I'm feeling awfully suspicious. Well, your instincts are terrible. What kind of strategy is it to hide your successful attacks against your enemy? You want your enemies to know you're not to be messed with. Really, it's like your human schools don't even teach intimidation. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't think it's him at all. What about you, Sans? How's it going, bro? I'm not gonna lie, Blue and Black's rivalry is pretty hilarious. They even just finished a photo competition with those Polaroids. Think they wanted to show you later. Why do I get the feeling there's a decent amount of collateral damage? To be honest, I'm right there. That links. It's because you're a smart cookie. Just wish there was a little less crumbling around here. I had to replace the TV a couple weeks ago. They paid for it. But Q changed my order at the last second. They ended up being a top of the line smart TV instead of the Wi Fi free one I had chosen. No returns. Now, if he gets ticked, he messes with the parental controls. I have to run a gambit of passwords. Yeah, you try typing snaz pants. 
Oops, is bad at photo differentiation on a remote. <laughs> um, what if it was more than one person working together, like Q and Black? Q and Black have this argument going on, and if Q turned off the cameras, and then Black took the spaghetti, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Hey, Blue. Black was talking about consequence? That does it. It's time to up the ante. Strategy super focus unlocked. Uh, you yell like a super saiyan. <laughs> yeah! Granted, I can't test anything out right now since Q is taking up the TV. Everyone's been better about blocking open network access on their phones lately, but I'm pretty sure Edge and Pep forget sometimes. And when my brother starts late night snacking, he tends to forget too. Okay. Well, let's talk to Russ. He's the only one we haven't talked to yet. Hey, do you like pineapple, sausage, mushrooms, or barbecue sauce better? He seems amused by your answer. What about all of the above? Because my lord made burritos like that the other day. Uh, that's unique of him. Your lord is out to make your non-existent stomach drag you six feet under Russ. Heh, <laughs> good one, darling. You know, I can see the question in your eyes. Why I still call you my brother and lord? Old habits die hard. It suited him underground, even if you can't see it in the same way now. Think about it. Why is Red still called Edge Boss? It's hard to tell if that clears things up or not. Uh, back to black. If Edge insinuates that it was me, things are about to go down. And a cooking competition, of course. We may have a lot of assets, but it's kind of annoying to rebuild the house. Don't you still have to rebuild the house sometimes after cooking? Only sometimes, when it gets in my way. Honestly though, I'm surprised some of them even want to eat still with how much those two ate last night. Red too, actually. Though both he and Stretch are bottomless pits like my brother. I swear to Toriel, still, isn't there some kind of limit? Eight last night? Who was it? Oh man, who was it? Back to Papyrus. Yes, monster food is made by adding magic. It's different than battle magic though. Battle magic may take extra explode. Undyne's a big fan. That's why monster food is so good for you though. It dissolves in you thanks to magic to be fully absorbed. Oh what? But what if it has bad things in it? Yes, absorbing things like glass shards is not recommended by most doctors, the good ones. It can be a bit volatile though, cooking with magic is an art. One time I accidentally put just a bit too much magic into some pancakes. It reacted really slowly, really slowly. First bite exploded in Sans' face slowly. <laughs> Sans, was it you? Were you mad? Band practice was pretty good earlier at least. Probably one of our better ideas to find a way to make that work, you know? Finding a way to work together. In any case, heh, it didn't seem like anyone had an expression like they made off with stale noodles. What does that kind of face look like? You know, it's a good question. Pretty weird, probably. But anyways, this ought to wrap up soon, I think. I mean, it's not like anyone's gonna come out and say it. Just do your best. And hey, if you get too stressed out, we got some good stuff. Got some Echo Flower liquor around here somewhere. Oh my god. I am stumped. Red? I know it wasn't you. I walked in on Blue and Stretch playing video games last night after passing Black sprinting off to his room. You know what's hilarious? Seeing a guy on Echo Flowers accidentally beat a guy who followed a 10 step strategy. Wait, Stretch beat Blue? Echo Flowers. Heh, let's just say Stretch has the car pals. Good for more than one type of backing. Stretch literally hovered a family-sized bag of chips in his face, downing about half of it through a lap. Though I'll give Blue that the sight of Stretch doing that probably distracted him more than anything. I, I think it was Black. He was running off to his room. Stretch was eating something. Blue was distracted, playing a game, obviously with Stretch. Where was Black that whole time? He said he was playing the game. But he wasn't there. I had, everything's kind of pointing there. I don't know if you guys are thinking something else right now, but it seems like it may be black. Let's go ahead and talk to the rest of them. 
What? You want me to make something instead? Uh, you know, just in case. Come on, honey. It's okay to be honest. Really, I'm flattered. But, uh, that doesn't solve our missing noodle problem. Also, my bro should probably lay off the baked goods after how much he snagged from me last night. Plus, he always gets real fired up and cooks up a storm after eating my baking too. Heh. <laughs> He's really cool. Oh no. It's not about him needing to eat less. It's like we gain weight, you know? Since we're skeletons. Doesn't tell me nothing. Edge. Have you pinned it on the robot yet? He's obviously the culprit here. That sorry excuse for an app burnt my favorite action battle simulation model with lasers. Um, how did he manage to, are you sure it was him? Who else has lasers installed and can hack past the security? And I will make that Q rule the day. Yes, I know that will be a challenge since he's an AI still. Well, Q, I, I do have a slight suspicion and maybe you. Seeing Black get all twitchy from the echo flowers whispering above his head is pretty hilarious, honestly. I don't even need to run any secondary programs to do anything. Why are you messing with him? What did you have recorded onto the flowers? What makes you think it was me, Peaches? But the other day, he got a little res that I beat him in a fighting game and happened to mention that it was easy to predict his playstyle based on how he actually moves. Later that night, he accidentally smashed several of my cameras. Even Amazon Prime takes a bit to get here, and I don't have the necessary lenses on hand to manufacture the replacement. It's hard to keep up with people if I can't jump rooms and see them as they talk. Hmm. So the cameras were broken. It wasn't because of Q. Somebody had to notice the cameras were broken. I mean, would Black really accidentally break the cameras or purposely break the cameras and then eat the food? I mean, Q says Black broke the cameras. I don't know. We can't, we can't keep this between us for now, but I wouldn't mind having some stretches baking instead. Don't tell him I said that. What about the noodles? We can find them too, but I mean, have you ever had his cheddar and sage scones? They're weapons of mass deliciousness! That is too much power for one skeleton to wield. Secretly, my brother is very, very cool. He just hides it. Secretly, okay? It's very hard to occasionally test his baked goods otherwise. Okay, last person, Russ. I found Stretch laying on the ground last night in here. When I wandered in, he was just face down, groaning, surrounded by crumbs. What happened? I said something blew him away, darling. Though I'm oppressed, he still managed to summon enough magic to give me three middle fingers when I told him to move. He was in front of my amp, so I ended up leaving without working on the song idea I had. Wouldn't have been able to hear myself anyways, not with all the noise coming from around the kitchen. Okay, that's all of them again. Let's one more time. One more time. We have to figure this out. Okay, so at this point, we have it down to black and stretch to me. I mean, I initially thought maybe stretch. I kind of leaned away from it, but now he was face down in crumbs, noodle crumbs. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's start with papyrus. This is what the great papyrus must bear for spending the wee hours of the night working on puzzle designs rather than security detail on my noodle crops. You weren't sleeping? Shh. I don't sleep much though, admittedly, but I spend a minimum of two hours with my eye sockets closed each night. That's definitely sleep. No, it's not a nap. Napping is lazy. It's unscheduled sleeping as opposed to regularly scheduled sleeping. <laughs> oh, papyrus. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to have to check about that liqueur. Stretch was looking really rough earlier. Kind of reminded me of when we all sat down a couple weeks ago to hash out lyrics and music junk. We might have ended up drunk. Very, very drunk. Sounds like a band time to me. <laughs> Can't argue there, can I? Though at least one of the songs ended up getting written. It was a riot too. I never thought so many puns could end up in one song. 
Oh, speaking of notes, if it helps, know that I spent the night in the lab working on some developments Q was helping with. Well, okay, helping sometimes. The others, he was looking off to the side and laughing at some screen of his. He did go up a couple times for coffee, but stopped when the last time I faced a war zone in the kitchen with those four. Man, I really need to get a coffee maker for the lab. Hmm. Q was laughing at something in the cameras. The cameras broke. Maybe he was laughing at the people. He was probably laughing at Stretch and Blue. They were playing. They were playing games. All right, Red. Ended up smoking outside next to Russ for a while last night while Boss and Blue tore up the kitchen. Eh, Black too, probably. Boss and Blue. Edge, but it, it can't be him. Tore up the kitchen. Blue. Uh, not, nobody's really saying anything about Blue. Stretch might have been distracted. Black kind of ran away. Stretch was on the floor. He was trying to uh, do music. It could have been Blue also. I don't know. The guy's pretty easy to banter with when you get him alone, actually. Probably the quietest of us otherwise. Hell, he might even be able to sneak up on Boss. That's scary quiet. You scared, sweetheart? Don't worry. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. But yeah, teleporting a no. He's quiet as hell till he wants you to know he's there. Got one hell of a knock for jokes, though. Last night, mmm, must have exchanged over 30 puns based off of Echo Flowers alone. What? I'm not looking as guilty as you thought I would. You wound me. I'm a wilty with how blue the echo of your words would have got me. <laughs> Alright. So he was saying that Russ is just really, really quiet. Is that suspicious? I don't know. Maybe it's just really quiet. Maybe it's just really quiet. <laughs> okay, Stretch, come on. Tell me something. Tell me something. If you need a later, I do have a couple of brownies stashed upstairs so the others don't eat them while I'm not looking. Seriously, Blue ate five of them. I, I've never seen anyone bounce back after that many Echo Flower brownies. I don't even think he'd had them before, and even if he had, uh, how? Baked goods affect everyone differently, I guess. This had to be difference between Hot Wheels and NASCAR. Though, honey, it was something else. He's just that cool. But stars, if I ever forced to eat that many tacos again, I might have magic coming out of my sockets. Had to go round for round with him. And just, there was so much in them, so much links. So he ate a ton of tacos. I don't think it was Stretch. He was knocked out. Too many tacos. Too many... He was... He, uh, uh, taco overload. Taco overdose. Pretty much. So... Not Red, not Sans, not Stretch, not Q, he's an AI, not Papyrus, not, let's see if not Edge. I overheard you and those talking about their inane challenges, ha! The only true contest outside of battle is cooking, ferocity, skill, ingredient selection, recipe choice, yes, a measure of both might and strategy. You're really passionate, Edge, it's, it's cute, and you're the mightiest. I, you, S silence, I won't fall for your distractions. I will allow that at least last night, Blue showed himself as a more potentially time-worthy adversary, which is precisely why I ate one of his tacos in two bites last night, to prove he could stomach even terrible competition, even when I had been there to Sabato. strategize. I was there to strategize. Blue has gotten a lot more outlandish in his choices lately, so it's not like I could have had much last night that would throw it off. He kept trying to get me to leave while he worked, though, how rude! I will show him that I can far outdo him in ingredients. Okay, I don't think it's Edge. He really doesn't care. <laughs> he really doesn't care. Oh, man. So it's down to Blue, Black, and maybe Russ. But let's talk to Q first. I've got cameras set up all over the main areas of the house. It's not like I'm watching, though. It does, however, make it easier to hold a conversation if I have a way to see you outside of looking through your phone's camera. Wait, did you see who did it? Heh, <laughs> ding ding ding! Yeah, I know who did it, but the guys wouldn't believe me. And where's the fun in telling ya? I don't record everything that happens, no. And I didn't save the particular proof side, so I had nothing to show them. But yeah, I was up, 
and the kitchen cameras wasn't one of the ones Black hit. So, heh, I've got you, Peaches. Wait, what? <laughs> it's about time you got this wrapped up anyways. Finish up talking and take your guess. You got this. Mm. Who could it be? <laughs> it's definitely one of these three. Let's talk to Russ first. You're barking up the wrong tree, you know. Though you are closer than you think. What does that even say? <laughs> How many people be involved with something like this? Do you know who did it? Do I? Funny thing, nefarious things seem to look when it's just a bunch of voices echoing about a room. Listen close though, darling. You're onto it. Make the right choice and we'll be eating soon. And hey, later, you'll like my, my lowest Polaroids are. I don't know. I don't know. He kind of kind of made it seem like it was more than one person. I know Q knows. Was he in on it? Maybe. But he wasn't here. So it has to either be black or blue. Let's try blue. It's true. I always get excited when stress bakes. You can see the spark in his sockets. That passion. He doesn't have a lot of faith in himself. But he's been getting better. You always cheer him up too. But that passion that I can taste goes into his bacon. I can't help but want to make the best tacos ever in response. You got a lot of passion too, Blue. <laughs> I gladly admit to that. And my passion is why I made 24 tacos last night and after eating stretches, brownies, and then ate 10. You have to know your own creations inside and out. Sometimes I experiment a little too much. No, I forget what I put in them. But let's keep that between us. <laughs> See, he's like mentions nothing. Nothing about the spaghetti. Which makes me suspicious of him. The only one that we haven't talked to yet is Black. As Lord Supreme over there is just sulking because he realized his cooking is worse than Blue's. Of course, they're both below my skill. Tacos don't even compare to burritos. Who the hell wants crunchy nonsense stuck in their teeth, let alone adding more crunchy stuff to it? Burritos are definitely better. Tacos are better. Burritos or tacos? I'd, I'd have to go with burritos. Finally, someone who gets it. They should have let me prepare the dinner. You clearly need to try my cooking. I am certain that you are full of regret for those events. But I will have benevolent mercy and cook for you for the sake of ensuring your tastes are true. In the meantime, hurry up and finish this so the evening may progress. Surely it's time! These japes must cease now, or else we will never eat. So, dearest human friend, have you come to your investigative conclusion? Uh, well, yes! Excellent! That makes it time. <laughs> what drama, what excitement, what noodle-shaped justice. Oh, man. Please inform us, who is the noodle-napping japester? Oh man, we're gonna have to save it right now. And please, please, at this time, let us know in the comments who you think it is. So. <laughs> oh man. I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe give your reasoning to why you think it was this one person, whoever it is. But. Uh, black? Uh, blue. We're gonna go with blue. I think it was blue. Did I get it? Me? Yeah, Lynx. He was busy playing games or cooking all night, really. Yeah, I don't even remember seeing those noodles. Not after... Hell, he ate so many of those brownies that... Bro. Bro, you didn't. Well, you know what? I, uh, I... I totally have a thing that I need to do elsewhere. Yes, I uh, need to go and definitely not think about the events that definitely didn't happen. Wait, what? Blue, it, it, it was you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, please tell me you did it. I did it. I mean, there was a lot going on and I, I was just really excited and they were right there. Please tell me someone's recording this. Oh yes. This 
may be the best thing that's ever happened. Holy whoa, Blue! I can't believe that you got that blaze. Russ won't stop snickering. I didn't know, okay? I just, I got so into it after eating Stretch's brownies and I was really hungry and I didn't even notice that I had grabbed. You didn't notice that you were putting artisanal noodles in your tacos. He was too high to notice what he was doing. <laughs> Brother, oh my God. I mean, I didn't know. I mean, well, I kind of did, but not really. I didn't know there were Echo Flower brownies, okay? Bro, oh my god, why did you think I was snacking so much? Your hunger was inspired by your delicious baking! Just when I thought you couldn't get any cooler. Wait, how many did you even eat, Blue? Five? Dude, how are you awake? Somebody's a heavyweight in the edibles department. I've never felt so hungry in my life! So wait, that tasty, uh, passable crunchy topping, that was his noodles? Well, at one point my fist hit the counter because I got pumped at the thought of new spice to try. But Pap's noodles were out drying, so I lifted my fist and it was just this crunchy stuff that tasted really good. Next thing I know, there was no more crunchy stuff to grab and 24 finished tacos. Noodles, the topping was crunched noodles. Crushed like my dreams. Pap, no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to take it. I was just, I was so, so inspired and the bits were so tasty and they were tasty. They were tasty. They were tasty. And they were tasty. Really, really tasty. I had 24 tacos, so I just kept going without really thinking. And then I'm so sorry, Pap, they're all gone. And I ate 10 of the tacos. Red Sands, Russ and Stretch are all trying desperately not to bust a rib. Oh my God. And I had 10 of them too. Wait, that only makes 20. Where the hell did the rest go, you glutens? I had one. You did what? Sorry, my lord. I was hungry, but he had taken over the kitchen and I couldn't get to the fridge. He kept shoving one in my face. Blue sustaining one very long, horrified groan. Wait though, that still leaves three. Where did they end up? Oh, bro, not that we're on this. I think I remember mentioning you needed to sacrifice the taco to the stove and then there was a lot of burning smell and the stove was on fire for a bit. This is it! This is how I die! I had one, but only one! I know how crushingly I could defeat him in our upcoming kitchen battle. Apparently not at all. I swear to Asgore Sands, I will end you! Hey Peaches, I think I can give you a hint about the last one. No one ate it. But you've gotten some hints about where it is in this room. You hid it in this room? I, I kind of remember that. I needed to save it for later, I think. That's disgusting. That's confusing. That's hilarious. Wait, I remember where it is. What did I tell you, darling? Listen close. Dude, you didn't. Hey, I didn't put it up there. Yep, hidden in the echo flower basket. They kept whispering that I needed to keep a secret in my own voice about a taco. How the hell did I not notice you climbing up there? I think you passed out on the ground after that tenth one. That's rough, buddy. My noodles! My gods. And thus, the mystery is solved. Hey, bro, at least they were appreciated, right? That is true! And there's a new use for noodles that we discovered. That's true! Outside of eating them tonight, this must be the best possible timeline. This opens up so many new ways for people to appreciate the fine artisanal quality of the noodle. The doorbell sounds making everyone look up in surprise. Who the? I've got it. Why does he look so pleased? Never mind that. Why the hell are we going to do now? We don't even have any food. Well, I guess one of us could go grab something. Let me do it. I ruined dinner after all. I'll get whatever Pep wants us instead. How about pizza instead? He's holding a stack of eight different boxes. His question about those oddly mismatching ingredients earlier makes sense now. Holy hell, hell yes. Wait, how did you get those so fast? Order them half an hour ago. What the hell place do you know that delivers out here that quick? I tip well. Leave them the best tip, the best. Excellent job, Pappy. It looks like I'm finally rubbing off on your habits. Sure are best influence a bro could ask for. The evening is saved! Looks like we lucked out after all. Oh, oh! And we have pictures to show you once we eat! 
Of course, you'll find mine superior. They're amazing! We'll put them down and show you all at once, so you can judge them impartially. Of course, mine are very nice, so I know that your discerning eye will catch that very quickly. <laughs> I'm sure Lynx will do a good job on judging. Look at how we were able to figure this all out. Seriously, Lynx, thanks for helping. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you! Now better grab a slice before Red and Rust eat it all. Or Blue, apparently. Stars, help me! <laughs> the end! I can't believe we figured it out. Well, there you have it. Did you do just as well as figuring it out? I really, actually, really enjoyed this game. A little mystery, a new take on Undertale. I like how they actually combined all the AUs into one house. I don't really know them all besides Underfell. Maybe Under... Swap? Don't know that much. If you know, go ahead and let us know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Link 4 out.